You know those horror movies about aliens invading and taking over human bodies? What kind of joke is this? Well, that's the world plants live in. Fungi, insects, mites, and bacteria penetrate plants and then manipulate their cells to multiply and enlarge. The abnormal growths, like these ones made by mites on cherry leaves, are called galls, and their purpose is to house and feed the parasites. So here's a speckled alder, and it produces these cone-like structures that it has its seeds in, but they get attacked by a fungus, and you can see right here those black straps sticking out of the cone are tissue that the fungus has made the alder produce. Here's another gall that you can, um, you can identify while you're driving in your car doing 60 miles an hour. And it's called black knot. Certain fungi stimulate twigs to proliferate into a thicket called a witch's broom, as in blueberries, or grow bulbous cankers on tree trunks, as in tamaracks. Galls on leaves and stems are usually the work of tiny wasps, flies, and mites, but also moths and aphids. One of the easiest to recognize is the goldenrod ball gall. And inside that, there will be a little fly larva. Some galls are so colorful that you could mistake them for a fruit, like this red blueberry gall. Before leaves come out in spring, galls are especially easy to find. If you cut open a blueberry gall, you'll find the cells of dozens of tiny parasitic wasp larvae. On last year's galls, you can see where each adult wasp exited. Horror movies about body snatchers usually end badly, but fortunately, plants are able to limit the damage. So galls are mostly like warts or benign tumors. Kind of pretty, actually. <laughs>